America, land of the free, home of the brave, my ass. I have never seen a nation so afraid of its own people that it has to silence their voice at every vote, every decision that matters. A nation that lets rapists and murderers and patriot vigilantes defending their rights with big mouths and bigger prejudices walk free every day. A nation so in denial that the question, why does it always have to be about race, springs up after hate crimes. And to you, why, I ask, are you so so guilty. It's almost as if you're so ready to pass blame that you want to blame low-cut shirts, shaking hands, reaching for waistbands, a bad family, aggressive tones and skin, to and skin tone for murder. It's almost as if you're afraid you'll get caught. That's why you scream, not all men, not all white people, not all cops. You're blind to privilege because you want to act like civil rights movements mopped up all the blood you left on city streets. You want to believe that plastic equality is privilege. You want to act like you're not to blame because you've never killed a girl for saying no. Shot up a schooler called a black person the N-word, but it's in your subtext. And I see you saying she shouldn't have said no. Yeah, but it's his right to carry a gun. Black privilege is getting to say the N-word. Not all cops. My dad's never shot a black man. My cousin's never assaulted a woman of color. Congratulations. Do you want a gold star for being a little bit human? Oh. I'm waiting for the days cop doesn't mean butcher, slaughtering and leaving corpses on asphalt, leaving the media to pick the bodies clean and serve the public, medium rare bias smothered in criminalizing rhetoric, still bleeding fear, still chewing on the hatred of a butcher and being forced to swallow it. I'll say not all cops when they don't all uphold a system of oppression that never failed minorities. That system didn't fail them because it was never built to, to serve them. Not all men. I've never chased a girl home and stabbed her to death for rejecting me. I'll believe that when I stop hearing the boy in my class's voice on repeat saying I'd never want a daughter because I don't want her to be some slut walking around in skinny jeans and 10 minutes later saying damn her ass looks great in those skinny jeans. I'll believe that when a group of men laughing doesn't sound like a fire alarm. I'll believe that if rape culture ever ends. I'll believe that when feminist isn't a bad word. I refuse to ever the believe the U.S. will ever return to its former glory because all its glory has ever been is its bloated tongue flopping about over its so-called freedom. Its bullets ripping apart colored bodies, trans bodies, gay bodies, female bodies, its fangs dripping the red, its white supremacy beaming the white, its beaten and bleeding poor and exploited nursing blue. All of its so-called glory is a lie. Oh. I'll start believing America was ever great, and is great now, when it starts being true.